Welcome back to Potted Living, the show where we teach you how to grow all kinds of fruits and vegetables on your patio or small garden space, growing them in pots. Here's my secret trip ha trick hack of the week. Uh, I live on the eighth floor of a condo building, and what happens when I want to water my plants is oftentimes it floods over and the neighbors get mad and call building security on me. So I try to be very careful about not watering my plants too much, but as we all know, probably about once a month, you want to water your plants all the way through so that you can get rid of any salt that builds up from that hard water from your tap. So what I do is I wait for a day like today when it's absolutely pouring and I flood my potted plants here on the balcony, let it all drip over the edge, and nobody's the wiser, nobody can give me trouble for dripping onto their patio. That's my hack for the week. Try to do this at least once a month. And here's the reason why you want to do it. Salt builds up from the hard water in your tap. Those minerals build up at the bottom and they surround your roots and stop them from getting moist, uh, just, uh, soaking up water and nutrients. Flushing your pot once a month is a great way to flush out all that, those bad hard chemicals from the water and bring your plants back to life. Now remember when you do this though, it tends to wash out a lot of the nutrients as well. So wow, it's really, it's really coming down. So what you want to do is make sure that you have a good fertilizing schedule so that as you are draining your pots through to the bottom, uh, you're not washing away too many of the nutrients and then the plant suffers. That's my quick video for the day. Potted living.